Welcome back everybody once again to Running Red the hardcore questing mod from Gideon Seymour and you just heard something go Ch and that was the farm what I want to do today is to carry on with that quest let's have a look at the quest and this one is here and we have to make in this particular case we have to make one TNT I have no idea what that's going to be used for and here we have to make this filled sockets which eight well, was doing last time and a soul armor forge so and then we'll get five more filled sockets a reward bag and a golden apple i've actually got a reward bag from i didn't know before from the oh that's an eight minus reward very good as it happens it is a full heart so that was from the zombie killing and and skeleton killing from the first quest so armor forge let's have a look how do we make the armored forge and it's this rest it's this device we've got to make here this whole armor forge so it's fairly straightforward so let's go and get onto the crafting table and do that let's have a look at it again we need the magician's blood orb in the middle and we need four stone which we've got so maybe shift clicking will work it doesn't uh, so let's do it this normal clicking way there we go so we need four filled sockets that's why I made 12 and four stone that will give me the soul armor forge Let's go back to the quest book now and check what we've got to do. So now I've got to do, I'll keep you safe tonight. So we have to make a bound chest plate. And the way we do that is with the soul arg armor forge. So what we need, we need to put this down somewhere with a bit of space. Let's have a look. Between the mobs over there. Mm, I think I have enough space here. Yes, we do. Let's put this down here. And then what we do with this is we then have to lay out uh, the pattern of the armor that we want to build. So in our case, we would like to build a chest, chest plate. So we need to do it straight forward, I think, as a standard chest plate pattern, excluding the armor forge. So there we have it. And what we have to do now, I think, is right click this. Oh, simply right click it. And you get a nice big explosion. And a bound armor chest plate. Let's have a look at this one. Devilish protection. So let's have a look at the quest book before I go and bind that to the network. So I've done that. So now I can claim the reward. Let's do that. And that gives me five more filled sockets which of course I can then make a helmet so let's do it let's go make the helmet ah, da, da, da. there we are in fact I could put this on and you'll see my suddenly goes up to nine and a half protection from nine until another half and this one actually uses protection from I don't know whether I have to right click let's just double check that Oh yes, I just right click it and that puts it on. Now it's owned by Buddy Woody, that's me. So let's take this down here and have a look at what's in this bag. It was an O plus reward, we get four wooden instruments. In fact, I don't need to throw those away. What I can do with these is to put them into a sawmill. And they will get chopped up and turned into logs. Have I got a hopper on top of the sawmill? No. So you get, f I think, about four. Let's throw them in. There is actually it's a bit more expensive than doing it the other way around. So what do we get this time? Six, nine. So you get almost back what you put in, which is quite good. Now, also, if you look over here, 
I've got some hives in here and these hives have been cooking for a while if cooking is the right term for the blood altar and I've got 30,000 in there keep killing or oh, grinding 33,000 in fact what would probably be sensible to do is to put this in place position 2 swap the two over Seven thousand. Still thirty-seven thousand. And what's happening here, of course, is I'm getting a lot of XP, and the reason for that is the the hop is almost full with XP. Let's have a look now. Thirty-nine thousand. So it's just about full. We can let those carry on cooking to be ma made back to scented hives. The, the scented hives, I planted them or placed them, and they didn't actually turn into real hives, any of them, so I have to do it again. And it's about 8,000 each, so there's six in there, so that's 48,000, and I've been doing that for a while now. So, what did we want to do? That's right, I wanted to make a helmet. Device stands on here. Just lay down the helmet pattern. So, helmet in normal is just five in a sort of square like this come back and right click it and there I've got one helmet which in fact is going to be more uh, sturdy than a oh how about that then it's going to be more sturdy than I haven't protected oh, I have to do no, not right click that let's just right click it so now I should get yes nine and a half hearts so it didn't actually go up so I didn't get anything beneficial compared to the steel helmet so what's next on the list of things to do we can put the steel helmet in here I've got a bit of a broken bow so we can take some of these out of here and repair those so this one is nearly nearly full so we can put that one with this one it's a complete one and these two are won't give me a complete one but fairly close put those back in here is that everything I can do for the time being looks like it is so that's a bit oh, I'm getting plenty of plenty of that I went back to the nether if I didn't tell you already got quite a few blaze rods actually had a little excitement time so that was good zombie rain don't want that let's get rid of that because as you know in this mod pack your inventory is getting full all the time and there's a spider up there as well let's just sort that put those away 16 ender pearls right it looks like I've got to do some eating too melons hardly hear those actually. Hear the mobs quite well. Right. So now I wanted to do what? Let's check the quest book again. Because so we've completed that one. We want to make some TNT, don't we? So that's that done. So the next one becomes this brewing death. And here we've got to make a potion flask. And I will get a choice of two potion flasks. Now, a potion flask is actually quite easy to make. I think it's just a normal glass flask in the altar. So let's have a look at what we have to do. Hopefully those other ones will have finished soon. I also enchanted this. I got fire protection three, last stand two, and I'm breaking three. It's really some good enchants I'm getting. The only one I didn't get a very good enchant on was a bound blade which is a bit of a shame um, but no real problem we can unenchant and disenchant and re-enchant those anyway which is also on my to-do list so what did I have to do? I had to make some 
TNT. Let's have a look first of all. And if I'm right, this is four sand and five gunpowder. So, sand I haven't got plenty of. And gunpowder we have st stacks of. So the gunpowder was in a, a cross shape and the sand was around it. And I've got one TNT. Let's go back to the cross book now. And the potion flask as well we've got to do her. So TNT, 100%. Now I'm under pressure, so what have I got to make here? I have to make compressed iron ingot. Hmm, that's going to be interesting. I think I need to use a compressor of some description. Probably the pneumatic craft stuff now. What do we have? Air compressor, a block of compressed iron, a compressed iron ingot. And the recipe for that is a pressure chamber with one iron in it. And it needs two. And here are the recipes. So you can compress blocks of coal into diamonds, all sorts of stuff we can press. So we need to make a pressure chamber. That's going to be a bit long because we also need to make steam. So how do we make a pressure chamber? Here we go, it's pressure chamber window, pressure chamber. I will have to look up how to make pressure chambers. I think it's a multi-block structure. I've not done it before. So before I do that, let's go and, oh, what's interesting, what's that? Two redstone, one gold makes a turbine blade. Let's go back to the potion flash, flask. We have one potion flash, and the recipe for that is, well, that's actually the clearing recipe, so it needs nether wart, and, which we haven't got yet, of course. And in a tier to alter with 2000 LP, we can make one potion flask from one glass bottle, which is just three glass. So let's do that to start with. Three glass. And we will go and do that over here. When they finish, then they haven't finished yet. I shall have to wait for those to finish. Because I dug up the older altar and I haven't put it down yet. But there is something else I wanted to do. I wanted to build here a pond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything I have got, with the exception of the air sickle. Uh, even the armor, I think I don't want it. And the water, oh, I want the stone, don't I? And the water sickle I want. And the rest of it I do not want. So hopefully there isn't enough space in this chest. I'll sort that out. So I don't need bones in there. We can get rid of those. We don't need the zombie flesh either, but we do want these three things. We don't need the, the torches. And I don't need these. So let's go and put those in here. I saw that first of all, and then because we'll, we'll know where they are then. In fact, I don't even mind having the, the rotten flesh and the bones on me. So what I'm going to do here is to first of all lay down a, or oh, we do need another sickle. The other sickle I would like is the void sickle. This one. And the air sickle is the one that I'm going to need in case of emergencies. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place down a water block. 
and I'm going to jump into this water look and go down and I want to go down about two and this is usually when I don't get it right so let's just see if I can actually do this okay I can go down a bit gently up and then we can press block oops one more down here I think oops actually that will probably do oops I need to get out of the water quickly oops and go forwards of course and I think actually I've done what I need to do yes success and now all I need to do now is to remove that block of water and go down here mm -hmm. maybe I can do that from below of course from that little yes that looks about right that's two below I think that's two below so I wanted five by five so that's one two three four five six oh that's fine plenty of space now can I reach that not quite okay so cause that water's still going down what I can do is I will go through the other side here there so we'll get my pickaxe And where did I do it? I think it was here, wasn't it? So if I just dig up the, here, you see that's where the block is that I didn't want it to fall. I can just fall, knock this one down here. And then I can simply move this one and shift my way down here. And then I should be able to. No, I can't. But just in case I get into trouble, I'll get my icicle out. Just walk a little bit forward. That's it. Now I should be able to shift and walk around this thing here. Can't do it that direction, of course. Yes, here you see. Now I can extend this platform just a little bit out here in all directions to get it as far as to fill in the base. So I don't think I need to, oh yes, that's a little bit of a problem too. So I have to probably remove this block here. And then we'll just shift click along the way here and then place that one. And once that's placed, I probably should do the same over here too. shift all the time of course once I've got that far I can simply fill in the walls and we have the base base done and I just need to fill in this one here am I going to have a problem with this end piece possibly not too much of a problem we just then do the same thing here we knock away this piece here walk along here and then we can put in the end pieces here and of course do the same thing in this direction well another little exciting task completed here of course I can get out because I've got the air signal so no big deal but I'll just leave a little hole here to start with and carry on doing this over here hopefully I've got enough stone if not I can easily go back and get some more and 
And the idea of making this sort of little pond is to get some squids. And the, we need the, re the reason we need squids is because I would like to get some black ink. Now black ink is used in for all sorts of things, but most importantly for me, I want to get the printing press going. So of course the same thing here. Let's cut away actually at this stone slab here. I didn't lose that's good. And put that one down a reach. Yes. And of course you can just come along here and fill it all in. And I need the same problem at the end of course here. And now I've run out of stone. Never mind. Okay. The next job after doing this is to fill in I've still got shift health because I'm sometimes anxious. Let's just fly it over here. Oops, that was a bit hard. Oh, I need some food as well, of course. Yeah. Let's put that in place. Five. The reason I didn't use a jetpack, of course, is because it's, it doesn't always rescue me. I thought it would do. But when I'm actually falling into the void, it didn't actually... Last time I happened, did this, I was tr testing things out. It didn't recover, I just felt carried on falling. So where are we now? To stone we wanted, didn't we? Just to finish this thing off. And then once we've finished off, we then have to fill it in. So a moment or so, before we go and do that, are those hives finished? No, they take a very, very long time. And I haven't got... But they are... But it's still got some blood in there, so let's just fill it up again. Because while I was messing around with death, I did get a lot more um, mob spawning. Anything else we want from in here while I'm here? Uh, let's take the quest book and these three things here, just in case it finishes in the meantime. I wish it would actually tell you how much it's the progress of this thing is. You just can't see it. Anyway. Let's quickly grind a few mobs. And there are plenty to grind. That's a baby zombie there, I think. If it's a baby zombie, I can't kill it with this uh, da sacrificial dagger because... Oh, the dagger of succubus. It takes a lot. You can kill it, but it just goes down half a heart at a time. Have a look. I bet you that's almost full. Doesn't matter, there'll be more spawning so that you get full. And so have a look, have you got anything interesting in here? Now we've got some more armor bits, which is always interesting. Get rid of those two. Any more, st anything else in there? Interesting. No, not really. Now we've got a, another creeper head and some more gunpowder. And some more creepers. Can do it here as well. That one nearly exploded because he could see me. And there's a spider. And I do have a bow actually. Let's take I want. Let's take some arrows out of here and shoot the spider. The problem with the spider, of course, it will then, then blocks the other mobs coming down. So we can just see him there. There. I don't know whether I hit it or not. Yes, I did. That's now gone. I was just using an ordinary bow. The other, the Power 5 bow, will do this in about uh, one hit. Oh, look at this hunger bar. Actually, I wanted to check if these things are still cooking away. In fact, it makes sense at this stage with this type of recipes because they are very, very slow. Let's just see what we can find out about the scented hive. So here we have a scented artificial hive. 
takes 8,000 LP in a tier 2 and the trouble is it's draining at 1 LP per tick and that's why it's taking a very long time to do 6 never mind we've got other things to do and that's to fill in this little thing here. Now did I get any more stone? No. Well, I can hear a zombie. Let me just get my jetpack out of here. I'll put the jetpack uh, and the jetpack on just in case. I will get the other stuff out of this chest as well. I should really want to make some leggings, but we'll do it like this because it's useful to have the jetpack more than the bound armor at the moment. Okay. I guess there's a zombie pigman over there. Maybe that's what I heard. In fact, that's a steel helmet. And that's a steel helmet. Oh, three steel helmets. Uh, this is <coughs> one of those things. I don't even know whether I need to repair this. Let's just see if this will work. Not quite enough, but there will be enough on that one. Okay. And there's another, so just put that one there. Chest plates, there's one here that I can use. Gold chest plates are all done. And Obsidian lapis lazuli boots. Let's do those. I'm pretty sure I can grind these in some way or other to make out of these actual lapis lazuli, which is actually part of the reason why I'm keeping them. For no other reason. I don't think this, they're pretty useless. I've got so much now. I've got so much stuff. It doesn't make any sense. So I guess I wanted that one. I don't have any more gold. Put that away and just join these two together oops try again it's a bit strange the sound muffler I'm not sure it's working as I expect it to anyway we've got some more more mobs to grind and to finish off this so I was getting some stone wasn't I and I got distracted again let's just get the stone from here there's actually a chest at the back of that I want some stone I want some stone slabs Oh, yes, there we are. There we have our zombie. That's where they came from. Let's see how he was getting there. Aha! I haven't pressed F7, have I? And I haven't filled this in with water. So that's what I got here. Okay, let's go back and make sure I have got my good weapons with me. Which are in this chest here, of course. I think we'll have the looting sharpness sword out here and the power and the power th unbreaking boat and power five. So we will then just walk away a bit and jump her down. Have I got torches? Oh there's a creeper look. Oops. Try again. Oh, I did hit him with one. So I better put some light torches down here, hadn't I? Let's make sure the jetpack's on, and yes, it's got both bits in it. Torches are in here. Wow. I should want to keep those. What have we got down there? A spider, too. Ah. An egg spider. Let's just uh, jump down there and put a torch down. Okay. Has that done it? Yes. 
but let's have a look. I think there's more mobs around here. I saw that zombie. Where's he gone to? Oh, there lots of mobs. Right, bow time. There we have. Oh, see this? Just from one. Gone. Some zombie flash is brilliant. We got over here. There's a few orbs of XP. We should pick those up as well. Right, and now we just need to finish off this little construction. Before I run out of time, I'm going to finish this off. Mm, I wanted to put this down here, didn't I? I can't remember exactly where I was. I guess I needed to do this corner block here. So, we need the pickaxe. I suppose I do need the water sickle pickaxe. Let's put that in the fifth base for the time being and yes it was just this corner I had to sort out wasn't it one block there now I should but that's it isn't it I don't need any I also need one more down here don't I or do I? No, I don't. It goes down and falls down here. Okay. So we can quite happily put fill this in now. Ah, yes, that's what I was doing. Exactly right. And we need to put these slabs down that I picked up from here to finish this back up. And then the last bit is to fill in this here. So let's do that. 52 is plenty of blocks for this. So now we just go down here. And then the fun bit, then we have to fill it up with water. And that's where the water circle comes in handy. You can put blocks down. I think you have to do every three. So I put another block there and a block in the middle and it's pushing me like crazy of course. So I have to and that's that layer done. And I just repeat the same thing over here. That's done, isn't it? Yes. And the next one. Which way do I have to go? Get my jetpack on here. I guess that's done. And the next layer. Oops, that was too high. I'll have to work around it. That one's done. It's nearly done now. One more, I think. And then the final layer. Which I can do it out of the water and turn the jet back off. So one in the corner. Just hold the shift down. One, one here. One in this corner. One over here. I was pressing shift, but I can't press shift on this. One over there. And then we have one pool of stagnant water. Now there is another thing I should do here. Because I'm quite close to the edge and below me is just void. We'll put another a bit more blocks of uh, stone down here. Stone bricks anyway. So that we can walk a little bit more safely. 
In fact, I'll do two layers, I think, because... And then I'll probably extend the platform underneath as well. But this was a good example of not forgetting to... In fact, I don't even know if I took the torch out, but uh, it doesn't matter now, so that's fine. So there we have it. And I'm just waiting now for these to finish. And it looks like they're finished. It's hard to see us. Let's get rid of these mobs. Well, I don't see any more bubbles coming out of here. So that presumably means we're done. Oh, I got the spider eye from that thing as well, didn't I? Let's have a look. If they aren't done, I have a pain because... Yes, scented artificial hives, six. Fantastic. Now what we needed to do is to put the bottles in here. And I think it was 2,000, so we can put all three in. I don't think we need three potion flasks, but... It probably isn't going to do too much harm. And I'm going to have to put those potion flasks down again. So I'm going to say goodbye and until next time. And next time, oh, maybe we wait for the potion flasks. What do you think? They're cooking. I'm not sure what the recipe for potion flasks is. Let's have a look. And of course, do the usual. I'm hungry. That's some lovely watermelon. And there's another spider in there, which is going to be easy to get rid of. Let's get through that gap there. One hit, and he's gone. And he's let down the creeper. And there's another spider in there as well. And of course, same thing. You see the bubbles of um, XP are floating. I just have to walk around here a bit, and they'll, they'll pick them up. There's another one, a third one. And that time I did get something from him. Probably another spider eye by the looks of it. Yes. So now everything is sort of clear. Let's get rid of all of these mob droppings that I do not really want to carry around with me. I got some bows, some more. Look at all this stuff. It's amazing, isn't it? No more ender pearls for a while. 16. I don't need those. And I think that looks like everything for now. And I'm just waiting for these bottles to turn into potion flasks, which they've done already. Let's get them out. Uh, three potion flasks. And put back into there. We need to put back the orb, I suppose, at some stage. I've put something else useless in there now. So look, don't want that one. And I don't want... That's oh, okay. The other was just a bow an arrow wasn't it and take out the take out those bones there's always bones in the old hoops that's just floated away thought they'd floated into the um hop vacuum hopper which you're probably going to if i don't if i can't do this right let's press the e again i'll put those up there that's better come down here get those three bones and then put the three bones in the hopper well it's hard work now quest book Right, that's under pressure. We have got to do that one, but we can finish this one off so we can pick a potion flask. Let's just pick. Oh no, we die for tomorrow. Do I have to do this? A potion flask. I've done that already. So raise your glass. We've done that and we die for tomorrow. What's going to here? One potion flask. One potion. Ah, this quest requires a potion of flight. Okay, so that's what I've got to do next. I shall go and uh, get prepared for those and come back and see you next time. Bye for now.